Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the O-Ray team with an overview of the WHD Pro 100K Wireless HDMI Sender and Receiver Kit. This product is designed to make it very simple for you to extend an HDMI signal up to 30 meters away over a dedicated wireless connection with a full HD 1080p resolution. It's really the perfect way of connecting a game console up to your home monitor or connecting your laptop up to a projector if you have to present to a client in the field. It features a very simple plug and play installation and with a few simple connections you can be up and running in a few minutes. Now as part of the overview I'd like to start with an unboxing to show you everything that's included with the kit. I'll also do some close-ups of the unit to explain the connections and indicators. I'll give you some idea of the video and audio uh, standards that the product can support. I'll actually come back and do an installation to show you just how simple it is to use this product once you get it home. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open the box, the first thing you'll notice is the receiver and the transmitter modules, and there's a power supply and a cable, and that's all you'll need to connect it up. So the receiver module has a power supply that gets plugged into the wall, standard wall outlet, and you've got a micro USB connection here which supplies power for the receiver. On the transmitter end, this gets plugged into whatever media source you're going to want to extend over that wireless connection, and it needs to be powered as well. And we include a micro USB connection on this end which plugs into the transmitter, and I've got a USB-A connection here that can plug into a laptop or the back of a game console, or you can even use a wall charger if you'd like with that as well. We also include a full instruction manual, really good information in here about how to use the unit, what kind of video and audio standards it supports, uh, what you can do in the case of troubleshooting, it'll show you boot up screens, contact information in there as well so you can get a hold of us if you have any questions, warranty information on the product as well. So it's always a good idea to start with the instruction manual, that's where I like to start whenever I get a new product, but it is so simple to install that two simple connections here, two simple connections there, and you're up and running. So stay tuned and I'll do some close-ups now of the product and explain again what those connections and indicators mean for you. The ORI WHD Pro 100K can support a wide range of media devices, including PCs, game consoles, streaming devices like Roku, home surveillance systems, and even cable boxes. The product provides an integrated HDMI connection that supports 480p, 720p, 1080p media, with a full HD wireless streaming. This kit includes four separate components and an owner's manual, and now we'll take a closer look at each individual item so you clearly understand the connections you'll need to make in order to use the product. Inside the box you'll find a transmitter module, receiver module, power supply, and power cable. The power supply is used with the receiver module, and the power cable is used with the transmitter. The power supply is a standard 5 volt model. This end can plug into any available wall outlet, the other end has a micro USB connection on it, which plugs into the side of the module and provides all the power you'll need. The power cable for the transmitter is very similar. On the one end is a USB-A connection, on the other end a micro USB connection. The smaller connector plugs into the transmitter, and the USB-A connection can plug into any available port you may have on a laptop or computer or game console, or even a wall charger. And if you need additional current, there's a second USB-A connection that can plug in as well. The receiver module is made of a high impact plastic, on the one end, there's a few simple connections. This is an HDMI out connection. You'll run a short cable from here to your monitor. This is the power supply connection I talked about a minute ago. And there's an infrared in connection that's not used on this particular model. On the other end is a pairing button. When you first power up the unit, you'll tap that pairing button for a couple of seconds. The light will start blinking, and that's how you establish your initial connection to the transmitter. The transmitter module has got ventilation holes in the top to keep the electronics inside at a comfortable temperature. There's an HDMI connection here which would plug into your output port on whatever device you want to broadcast. There's a connector plug in there, so make sure you take that off when you first hook it up. On this end, you've got a power supply connection. That's what the cable is used for, so the micro USB connection plugs in here. The USB-A goes to your power supply, and here's a pairing button. So the process would be power up both units, push the pairing button on this one for a couple of seconds. You'll see the lights start blinking, then push the pairing button on this one. When the pairing has been established, both lights will stay on solid. And I'll show you that in a minute when I show you exactly how to hook this up when you get it home. So stay tuned for that. Now I'll show you just how easy it is to use the WHD Pro 100K with your own equipment at home. So let's pretend for a minute that you have a media device. It could be a DVD player, game console, cable box, and you want to display that content on a monitor up to 30 meters away. That's exactly what this kit is designed to help you do. Now on the table in front of me, I have the receiver module and the transmitter module, and we'll start with the receiver module. I've run a short HDMI cable off the back of this monitor, 
and we'll connect that up to the HDMI output port on the module. I've also plugged in the power supply and we'll connect that up to the micro USB port. Now, the minute I apply power to this unit, it's going to start an internal self-test. You'll see the monitor spring to life in a second. What it's doing is checking all the components internally to make sure they're functional. It's verifying I have a good connection to the monitor, and it's actually checking the resolutions that this monitor can display to make whatever adjustments are needed internally to give you the best possible picture. And while it's doing that, the red LED on the top lets you know it's still in self-test mode. You can hit the pairing button, and what'll happen is when it finishes its self-test, it'll go into searching mode looking for a partner. The transmitter has a micro USB connection on the side as well, and I've plugged in a second power supply. Now, when I apply power to this one, it'll actually go into a self-test as well. It'll take a second to come on, but you'll see a red LED come on over here. Right now, it's scanning for its partner. So once this finishes its self-test, I can hit the pairing button on the side. This will wake up and let the receiver know that it's there and it's ready to pair up. So let me actually hit that. And when it goes into pairing mode, it'll actually turn blue. So you'll know that it's in pairing mode. Now, once you do this, you should be set for using it from then on. But the first time you do it, you may have to pair these two up. So scanning right now means that it's actually looking for the transmitter. And it's sitting there saying, hey, where are you? What's going on? This guy just went blue, which means it's now in pairing mode. And it should come up and say connecting, which would be a good thing. And once it does, I'll connect it up to this media player over here. There's your connecting. Okay, we're connected. Now it's looking for a source. There you go. I'll plug it into the back of the media player, HDMI connection there, and in a couple of seconds, it should come up with the medium. There you go. Now the media player over here, again, can be up to 30 meters away. Let me just play this, and you can see that it's actually moving media. So that's all there is to it. Now what's really interesting about this is there are no physical connections between these two. On this end, I basically have a power supply connected to it, and it slides into whatever your media device is through the HDMI port. On this side, again, I've got a short HDMI cable to your monitor and a power supply, and that's it. And this works really well for pretty much any media you're going to want to display in that monitor. So it really is just that simple. We hope you found this overview of the WHD Pro 100K helpful. It really does provide a quick and easy way of wirelessly extending any HDMI signal up to 30 meters away with a few simple connections. If we've missed anything in this overview or you have further questions, please check the FAQ on our website or use the contact us link to send us an email. We'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Until next time, thanks for watching.